All right, here we have an Origin Evo 15S. Um, this machine is overheating and it keeps restarting. So we're gonna change the thermal pace on this Origin. Origin Evo 15. Now, something about these Origins, they have a lot of issues. The keyboard goes out, they overheat too much. It's because um, it's too thin and not enough air flow in, in the system. And you can feel all the heat and it burns some of the circuits and you're gonna replace the keyboard. You have to replace the thermal paste. There's a lot of issues with this. So unfortunately this machine's a fail, but we're still gonna replace the thermal paste because we need to get it up and running. So let's go ahead and start. You gotta have to remove the keyboard. This is important on this machine because there's some screws tied down to the back end. So just a heads up, this is the most complex system to remove. There it is. There's a screw right there, right there, and right there. They need to be removed. So. You don't remove them, you can't remove the back. You guys notice we didn't remove the screws. The company didn't re put the screws back. So I guess they're they're finding out that people are just ripping it off and making breaking it when they're trying to replace the thermal paste themselves. So these screws are very valid. You have to make sure they're not in there. And like you notice, we opened it up, they're not in there. That means the company didn't put them in there. So origin, you suck. All right, we just opened it up. Look how dirty this is. Look at look at Look at this. this is what I'm talking about, guys. Sucking on the air in from the bottom. Look how dirty it gets. That is filthy. It's like dirt. It's not like regular dust. It's like mud, pretty much. So these machines get a lot of... This one right here has a GPU right here. It has two fans for the GPU. And this is a CPU, of course. And then we got your memory here. Your M.2, of course, this is a nine, uh, it's a 500 gig right now. It's a 970 Evo. And then we have your battery. These, this can be replaced. This can be replaced. The memory can be replaced. And then you have a mechanical drive here, which is a, a 2.5 drive in here. It's a mechanical hard drive. And this will be for all the content. And this will be for the OS. So that's pretty much it. You can also replace a NIC card, but that normally that doesn't happen unless it fails. But heating up this whole system, this is why it gets heat up and it burns most of the keyboard on the top. So just to give you a heads up, this is what you need to do when you have to clean your fans. This is this is a perfect example. Um, look at this, the back of it with the outtakes where it's blowing the air out. Look at this. It's being clogged and contained by this dust bunnies. It's crazy. Look at that filthy machine. And this was in the field for quite a while and it worked for maybe a, a year or two before it started failing. Uh, this is the problem with Origin. They don't do enough research to, to keep this separated and make sure that you have enough fans running. And maybe their, their filters are not really good because um, a lot of dust in there. disconnect the battery before we start working on everything all right so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this part first and then we start removing the stuff before we start messing up moving the battery you have to take out the screws and then once you take them out disconnect this part a little tricky there but there we go disconnect the battery we have it placed and there's your battery removal There it goes, the whole thing came off. As you can see it. 
Let me see this. Look at this thermal piece. Look at the thermal piece, guys. Look at that thermal piece. It's all dried up. We're going to clean it up. You can see it? Uh, this one's a little wet. The CPU is a little wet, but look at the GPU. It's completely dry. This is why it keeps restarting. You can see it's a little tiny bit moisture, but not enough contact. Let's see the GPU and the CPU. So here's the GPU. It's all dry there. See, and the CPU is all dry there. Yeah, look how dirty you left the fence. You can still see a lot of dirt there. Look at that. Damn. This is why it's messing up because it's clogged with all the little fuzz stuff. Man. It's just completely clogged in there. All right, so we got it clean. This is the... GP, this is a GPU right here. And if you notice, this is a CPU. So we're gonna go ahead and put the thermal paste right now. Go ahead, mister. I like to do the cross myself, you know. Gets a lot of it. No, that's enough. You don't wanna overdo it. Cause these are smaller. That's good. It's okay if it leaks over. If you guys saw the video earlier when I showed you guys, the thermal paste was out of the CPU and GPU. So, oh, we have to clean these up too. Hold on, let me see this. So, we gotta make sure you take out the old one too. That's very important. If you don't do that, it's gonna not stick very well because this is dry and this is pretty much like, you can see the solid dryness in it. All right, I'm gonna put this in exactly how it was. Now that the thermal paste, we drop it in. Press it a little bit down and that's it. All right, so that does it. We're just gonna screw everything in and you should be back to normal. Just make sure you remember which screw is what. Keep them separate and if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Oh.